What is going on, Inkling girls and boys? My name is Blaze, and uh, today I wanted to put together a real, real quick video uh, talking about some of the new information, like minor details that came to light for uh, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion coming out in April. Um, just a couple minor things, but they are very important. They sound they sound awesome and sound like they're worth talking about, so I'll be going over some of that information. Uh, some of this was, was revealed by the Japanese Twitter account for Splatoon 2, which is right over here, and... Um, it was all brought to uh, my attention and, and probably everyone's attention by uh, Nintendo Wire, which seems like a uh, you know pretty large website. Uh, may have a pretty good following, but I've I've never been there myself. But they seem they seem cool. So uh, basically, uh, looking at this information, Nintendo Wire put together their uh, translations for it, and I'm not going to read everything that they have. I'm not going to read it verbatim on the website here, but I will paraphrase for you. So. Basically, what they're saying is that, uh, according to the information on the Twitter, uh, is that, let's see, Agent 8, uh, the storyline for the Agent 8 expansion, and by the way, this, this may contain some spoilers, so if, if you don't want to know anything about the Octo expansion, uh, you have plenty of time to click away, so uh, please do if you do not want to know anything about it. Um, but basically, Agent 8 will wake up in the underground and... Um, it looks like it might be after a Squid Sisters performance, and they're speculating that it might be the same one uh, from the climax of Splatoon 1. I can't speak on that because I, I never played Splatoon 1, but it could be the same um, the same performance from Splatoon 1, I'm guessing at the end. Um, fill me in on the in the comments if I got that wrong. I'm not really sure how that goes. But um, let's see. So uh, Agent 8 wakes up in an underground facility, and it seems to not exist in space and time. So... It seems like it might be an alternate dimension, and that, that sounds kind of intriguing. I want to know more about that, which I have my own kind of theories on that. My, my primary theory is that Agent 8 lives in a an alternate reality to the reality that the Inklings live in, and every so often one will cross over, um, but in that reality, uh, Inklings are very rare, but Octolings thrive. And in, our, in this reality, the one that we play in Splatoon 2, Octolings are very rare, but Inklings thrive. So that's my running theory. May or may not happen, but it sounds like it's uh, it could fly. Um, let me know what you think about that, because I, I think that sounds kind of cool. But if you have your own theory, I mean, be sure to post it in the comments too. There's probably a ton of theories going around. Let's show off some of the pictures that they showed on the Twitter real quick. So uh, this is one of the the better pictures they showed off. Was just uh, the attire for uh, Pearl and Marina. I think Marina looks amazing in that outfit. I love her. Her pants are like capris. They look so cool. And just the white and the green looks so good on her. And uh, Pearl is just, yeah, she's kind of Pearl. I mean, she looks great. I don't have anything bad to say about her. I like her I like her bling and I like her hat. Um, but I've, I've really had a hard time, like, like being on being a Pearl fan. She's not bad. She's just not, <laughs> she's just not like something, she's not a, 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 a character that I, I, truly love but marina i think is awesome marina is amazing um so the other things they talked about i just got sidetracked there sorry about that folks but the other things they talk about here are uh the ability to skip some of the levels so there's 80 levels in the octoling expansion and depending on what happens you may be able to you'll be able to skip them um if you don't want to do a stage or you feel like maybe you're tired of it or you, you've been losing a lot and you don't want to keep going you can skip some of the stages there's no word on how many skips you'll get or how you earn them, um, but Marina and Pearl might play a role in allowing you to skip those stages. Um, who knows how exactly, but I guess time will tell. And if we go back to the tweets here, we can see that a screenshot of a continue screen. And if you look in the bottom right corner, there's a little icon with the X button on it, which is probably the icon that lets you skip stages if you need to. And this is a closer uh, zoom in on the, on the icon. I'm guessing that text says skip or, uh, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, there's some, something to keep in mind that you'll be able to skip stages. They did say that if you do decide to skip stages, it's not going to go against you being able to play as the Octoling. So there may be bonuses if you actually, if you do play every single stage and you unlock and you find all the hidden stuff in there as well. But they said that if you do decide to skip a stage, it's not going to affect your ability to play as an octoling which is wonderful because i don't know if i'm going to have a great time playing the single player which i'll get to that in a second i'll talk about that a little bit later but 
Uh, they showed off some of the gear uh, for the game. And let's see, what else did they say in here? Um, oh, they, they also said that this, the Octoling and the Inkling will not have any difference uh, when playing online. So there won't be any like better defense or better offense or anything like that um everything will be exactly the same this is going to be a, a purely aesthetic look which means that if you want to play as an octoling you're not going to have to worry about all the inklings having an advantage all the octolings and all the inklings are all are on the same level stat wise which is great uh probably my favorite thing about the octolings but i i also love the way they look some of the hairstyles that i've seen for the for the boys i'm not really digging but let's go let's, let's go take a look at the uh at the armor, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. But this is uh, the first screenshot for the armor, and you can see that the uh, the green hat on the far right, I think, is a new hat, and I think those shoes are new too. But I think I've seen the shirt, and of course, you can't really see his hair. If you look from the the second from the left, uh, the boy with the green hair and the gray shirt, that's a that's a new hairstyle that I'm probably not going to use. Um, it looks neat, but it's something I'm probably not gonna not gonna use. Um, I think the girl in the middle has some new gear. So correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, there's so much gear in this game that I haven't. I think I think I've seen most of it, um, and I think I can remember most of it. But I I probably am thinking that some of this is new and it's just stuff that I've seen before. But I'm pretty sure the girl in the middle has a hat and shoes that are new. But again, I can't can't be 100% on that. We've got the shoes on the far left, I think, are new. And I think the shoes second from the left are new as well. Um, so just some of the new gear and some of the, the new looks for Octolings and everything. So if we go to the next screenshot here, we've got some of the... Uh, the hairstyles are basically the same. It looks like the, the boys have uh, like bangs that kind of come down um, from an Octoling form. So that, that's kind of neat. I, don't have a problem with that i don't like the mohawk squid thing in the middle i don't i don't like that that's kind of weird uh for me but you know if you like it more power to it to you you go ahead and use it i i just don't think i'm gonna use it uh i like the ninja suit in the middle on the right um and i think the the golden shoes and glasses might be new on the far right uh if they are i know we're gonna see those like in almost every match so I think that's going to be a pretty popular uh, gear set. So, um, either way, guys, let me know what you think about about all this information. It's not it's not too much information. It's just a little bit here and there. They touch on the storyline a little bit, which I think is going to be awesome. The storyline. Um, I don't know how deep it's going to go, but it could actually go into like more sci-fi stuff, which I think would be pretty cool. But I I think typically I'm I'm more excited about just playing as the Octoling online. So I have to kind of rush through the single player. Uh, so I may not be able to experience all of the single player courses, but if they're anything like Splatoon 1 courses, and I think they actually had a screenshot of, of one of the courses down here. Um, I think this is a good this is a good representation of, in the background you can see some of the, some of the courses. Um, if they're anything like that, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy playing the single player as much as, um, I mean, I didn't enjoy it in Splatoon 2. I had a really hard time getting into it and getting through it. And I felt like it was it was just easy enough that I got mad when I died. So, because I just wanted to rush through it. I, I didn't really want to have to, you know, take my time. And it wasn't really action-packed. It was more like, you know, strategy, kind of. It, it was weird. I don't know how to explain it. But I didn't really have a wonderful time playing it. I really only played it when the servers were down. I still haven't finished it, but it's not bad. It's just not something that I really enjoy playing. Um, so I have a bad feeling that the single player for this, 80 new levels, is going to be kind of more of the same. So hopefully they do something to spice it up and make it more interesting and give like more, um, more of like, you know, gauntlet style stuff, like putting you in an arena with like, you know, hordes of enemies coming after you by yourself that would be kind of cool um but i don't i don't necessarily want to have um only like you know platforming adventures and grinding on the on the paint rails and stuff and that stuff was fun but i think it was just kind of a it was a flashy thing to to hide 
you know, some of the, the more boring parts of the, of the single player. So, you know, if you disagree, that's totally fine. But I just, I just had a hard time playing it. So we'll see if I can, we'll see how quick I can get through this. Cause I want to play as the Octoling so bad, but either way, thanks for listening guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, hit like, hit subscribe. I am going to try to do more videos like this as often as I can. And I am live on Twitch uh, every Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So check out my Twitch channel. Uh, link is in the description on that as well. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.